Shell oils are designed to protect your equipment, to increase the efficiency of your machines, and to last a very long time. The latter is quite important, as customers don't want to change their oil frequently. It's a money drain, and does not give you the mileage you may be expecting. For hydraulic oils, the measure of long oil life is usually the toast value. No, not toast. You really shouldn't put oil on your breakfast toast. TOST. It stands for Turbine Oil Stability Test, and is a simulation of what would happen to an oil in operation under harsh conditions. What has happened, though, in recent years is that the quality benchmark of hydraulic oils has been reduced to the TOST value alone. Remember those childhood card games? I have more horsepower or more cylinders, and hence my card is better than yours. Well, I'm afraid reality isn't that straightforward, not the least in machines. Let me explain why TOST is only a minor measure of a hydraulic oil's quality. First of all, the name. It is a turbine oil test, and the purpose is to accelerate aging of small turbine oil samples under very strange conditions. Simplified, oil and water are heated to 95 degrees Celsius, copper and iron is present in the oil, and three litres of bubbly oxygen are pumped through per hour. Does this reflect a hydraulic oil's natural life? Not really. In reality, Hydraulic sumps tend to have a temperature of 60 to 70 degrees Celsius at most. Water might be present, some oxygen from ambient air, and that's it. So why do we use TOST then when it is designed for turbine oils? Answer? Because there is no other test. But you have to take it with a pinch of salt. What's that I hear you say? There must be a connection between the TOST value and the lifetime of the oil in action? Well, no! Even the standardization body, ASTM, concluded, Correlation between results of this method and the oxidation stability of a lubricant in field service may vary markedly with field service conditions and with various lubricants. But there must be some insights as to why and when hydraulic oils fail. Well, there are. Industry practitioners know that more than 75% of failures are the result of fluid contamination from dirt, dust, water or abrasive particles, and not poor oxidation stability. Hence, other criteria are equally or even more important to assess the quality of a hydraulic oil. For instance, filterability to get particles out of the system, the ability to separate water, or its capability to withstand pressure and heat. In summary, don't get fooled by someone praising his oil with my tost is better than your tost, but ask for all other performances which describe the life of a hydraulic oil. So, is there something you can recommend? Certainly. Use Shell Telus hydraulic oils. Many, many users around the world cannot be wrong. Shell's leadership is clear. The market-leading Shell Telus product family with a wide approval list among most OEMs, covering a range of hydraulic system temperatures, even in extreme conditions.